Hello, biologists. If we're going to investigate what factors affect diffusion in and out of our dialysis cells, somehow we're going to have to be able to measure changes in the amount or changes in the concentration of the different materials in solution. What we use to measure the amount of materials in solution depends on what material is dissolved in the solution. If we are going to look at sodium chloride and the amount of sodium chloride that is present in a solution, we will use a vernier probe called a conductivity probe. This measures the amount of charged particles or ions in a solution by measuring the flow of these ions between two poles in this probe. If I put this in tap water, we get a reading of conductivity from the natural ions that are present in tap water. However, if we take this probe and put it in a solution of sodium chloride, you can see that the concentration of ions in this solution is much higher. Now, one thing about using this probe is the fact that it has different sensitivity readings depending on the strength of solution that you are reading. For the purpose of this experiment, we want to use the sensitivity reading of 0 to 2,000, or the bottom sensitivity on this probe. However, if we are going to measure the concentration of glucose in a solution, we were to measure the concentration of glucose in a solution with the conductivity probe because glucose, when it dissolves in a solution, does not make ions. You see that the conductivity probe simply does not record any change when we put this probe in a solution of glucose. In order to measure the concentration of glucose in our solutions, we will use glucose test strips, glucose test strips that are commonly used in doctor's offices for your analysis. To use these strips, we simply take the strip, dip it into the solution for about a second, wipe off the excess solution, and then you need to wait two to three minutes to allow a reaction to occur to determine whether or not there's glucose present in a solution. Here are two examples of a test that had a very, very low concentration of glucose in solution and a solution that had a very, very high concentration of glucose in the, in the solution. Testing protein, we use a different type of strip that works the same way. We simply take the strip, dip it into the solution we are testing, wipe off the excess solution, and in this case we need to wait about a minute in order to get a reaction. On these strips, the protein is the second tab from the bottom. So this would be a very low reaction, negative reaction for protein. This, however, would be a strong reaction showing a high concentration of protein in the solution. Using the conductivity probe to measure the level of amount of sodium chloride, the glucose test strips to measure the amount of glucose, and the protein test strips to measure the amount of protein, 
we will be able to determine whether or not materials, these materials are moving into or out of our dialysis cells.